Okay, so this video we're going to be talking about how concentration can affect the rate of a reaction. In our reaction we are going to be testing magnesium with hydrochloric acid and we've got three different concentrations here. We've got 0.5 molar, that is the weakest, 1 molar and 2 molar acid. That is the most um, concentrated acid. So here's what you'll need to do this experiment. You will need a bowl or a, bee, a trough of water. You will need something called a beehive. So we're going to put the beehive into the bowl of water. And here is a conical flask with a delivery tube. Now in this reaction, we know a reaction is going to happen because a gas is going to be produced. We're going to actually be making hydrogen gas. And we're going to measure how much hydrogen gas that we make in this reaction. So you need to put this conical flask with a delivery tube into the water, under the beehive, like so. Bit fiddly. There we go. Then you will need a 100 centimeter uh, measuring cylinder, um, 100 centimeter me measuring cylinder, filled it to the top with water. You can put your hand over it. You are going to invert it. Put your hand in the water, and then put the delivery tube that's already in the water in the bottom of the measuring cylinder. And that should stay nice and sturdy. You will have somebody helping with you in your video, so don't worry about it knocking over. Okay, so in this conical flask, we're going to use some three different concentrations of acid. Now, acid is corrosive, so we need to take precautions, so you need to make sure your glass is up. Thank you, Mr. Lau. Okay, we're going to start off by measuring um, 20 mils of 0.5 molar acid in a measuring cylinder. So get your measuring cylinder and you get to eye level and you measure 20 mils of acid. There we go. Make sure you put the lid back on. And then you need to make sure that you put the, <laughs> put the acid inside the conical flask. Okay. Now, this is the really important part. You are going to be given uh, strips of magnesium ribbon. Now, you can hold this. It's not harmful to touch. Well, you do need to make sure that your strips of magnesium are all the same length. We are not changing the length of the magnesium in this experiment. We are just changing the concentration of the acid. So if one is longer than the other, not a problem. Just get some scissors and make sure it's all the same length. Okay? You need to make sure that you get, in one hand, your piece of magnesium. In the other hand, you're going to get your bung ready and your partner is going to be having a stop clock. As soon as you put your acid, your mess or your metal into the, acid, into the acid, the reaction will take place straight away. And you're going to measure how long it takes to produce 50 centimetres cubed of hydrogen gas. Okay? So put this in. And then get your partner. Three, two, one. And as you can see, the reaction is starting to happen between the magnesium and the hydrochloric acid. And you are slowly but surely whoops, starting to produce hydrogen gas. And you're going to measure how long it takes with your stopwatch to make 50 centimetres cubed of hydrogen gas. Once you've done that, you need to refresh this. If you set this, set this all up again, empty this and you're going to be using one molar of hydrochloric acid, then two mole of hydrochloric acid, each time using a fresh piece of magnesium ribbon. Again, measuring the time it takes to produce 50 centimetres cubed of hydrogen gas. Make sure you watch this video a couple of times before you experiment um, so you know what's going on. Um, ask your teacher if you have any concerns and good luck.